Hey, my name is Dr. Augustine. Today we're gonna to talk about a patient who had multiple sclerosis, MS. Mother brings her in, mother's very distraught. She'd already been under care. She'd initially done some imaging scans, brain imaging scans, and they discovered demyelination was going on in the brain, so damage to brain tissue. She had really terrible symptoms, numbness, tingling, and pain down both arms and both legs depression, anxiety, wouldn't leave her house. I mean, she was just awful. And she was a younger lady. So then we began going into a pretty significant consultation. And we discovered, because my goal is always to discover what's causing problems, not just, hey, MS, here's the diagnosis, here's the bunch of drugs that you can take. What's causing it? So we discovered that she had exposure to aerosol paint cans and the accelerants that push the paint out, she had exposure to that. And so we're like, okay. So we did testing. Some of the testing, chemical toxins were discovered as well as we did another test that we do. It's a full body scanning technology that we do here in office to really see what's going on in her tissues. Cause it's a tissue level measurement of organ systems in various tissues and her brain was problematic. Her liver was problematic and her digestion as well. So we then set up a program, a strategy to solve these issues. Part of the strategy was dietary change. And this was where I got a big no, 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 no. She was a fast food junkie. She, would, she said that she ate mostly French fries. She drank soda. Just she would not have anything green that I wanted to give her from a vegetable perspective. So we moved forward. We, we said, okay, here's some supplementation to take. We're gonna encourage you to change your diet. We also had her do what we call cell exercise. It's also known as high voltage pulsed electromagnetic fields. It charges up tissues because one of the findings on the scan that we did was that her cellular health was dropping. And if your cellular health drops too low, then you can't take in those nutrients and nothing happens. Basically no change, no improvements. <clears throat> so we did that testing. We then got her into doing cell exercise. We then also did biocranial. Biocranial is a jump start and improvement of brain function. That's something that I do by hand here in the office. We also had her do detoxification and detoxification in this case was SP cleanse capsules she would do seven capsules three times a day, quite a bit of detoxing occurring. She would do SP green food, which is dark green vegetables, six of those capsules a day, as well as gastrofiber capsules, six a day, all with a shake that was like a whey protein shake. And that was detoxing for her to pull these toxins out of her body. Her first session on the cell exercise was absolutely amazing. She was in this deep, dark depression, wouldn't come out of her house, and she was super skinny. She, after the first session, it was like the, the lights turned on, the, the shade was drawn up, she could see better, her mood changed instantly. She had you know, anxiety and depression totally changed just with the first session. She was coming in twice a week, and we did this for about 12 weeks. Rescanned, retested her. She had really, really great changes. She was feeling amazing. And I, but I told her very specifically, I said, if you do not change your diet, this problem, even though you've had all these improvements, is going to come back six months to a year. You're going to have the same problems developing again. So, so she comes back. She, she had great changes. We had rescanned her. She did really well. And I, I warned her. So sure enough, about a year later, she comes back and she's her hands up like this and she says, okay. I will change my diet this time, I promise, because I'm starting to feel bad again. So we did very similarly the same stuff. We did some nutrients. We actually rescanned her, and we had some things that we changed from a nutrient perspective. We did change her diet. She did actually listen to me, which is great. We were charging her up with the cell exercise, charging up her brain function, charging up her liver, which was detoxifying. And she made an absolute complete recovery, so much so that she redid the brain imaging scans and guess what? Demyelination in her brain was gone. Her brain had healed tremendously well. 
This lady then went on to go to college and to be just fine. I haven't spoken to her in a few years, but she's amazing. And that's a good thing when I haven't spoken to her. Everything's been fine. So amazing, <coughs> amazing changes with this girl. Um, if you have multiple sclerosis, I definitely would say contact me because I would love to help discover why it's there. Doctors typically don't discover why a problem is there. They just treat it with medications. Don't think you want that. I think you probably want to recover from something, healing and resolving these problems. I'm also on social media, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, as well as Instagram. I'd love to hear your comments or questions. Please feel free to contact me at draugustine at gmail.com. My name is Dr. Augustine. Have a great day.